Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how you can create your own custom ribbon in Excel. As you can see, we have a custom ribbon here, which has a Visual Basic code running at the back end. And there is also a hyperlink to go to the website. In this video, you will learn how to create custom ribbon using XML, how you can connect VBA codes to the XML, and how you can deploy it to end users. It is going to be a little complex and a little long, so be patient, but this is something which very few Excel users are aware of. So this can really help you have that USB. All right, let's get started. This is what we are trying to create. As you can see, I have a custom ribbon here. And in this, we have a toggle reference button and a go to website. When I click on the go to website, it simply takes me to the hyperlink. And if I click on toggle reference, you will see that my columns, which are currently A, B, C, D, E as letters, they get changed into numbers. And this is very handy because with letters, when you write a formula, it simply tells you sum of B2 colon B4. But if you want to see the formula relative to the other cells, you can toggle the reference and now it tells you that you're selecting three rows above in the same column and one row above in the same column. While there is a way to change this reference in the options as well, this is a much quicker way of doing it by simply selecting toggle reference. And of course, this is an example you can put anything that you want in the Visual Basic code that is running at the back. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is to create an Excel workbook. And because we are going to keep some VBA codes in it, make sure to save it not as an Excel file, but as an Excel SM file, a macro enabled workbook. So I'm going to save it on my desktop and I will call it Excel custom ribbon and we will save it as a macro enabled workbook. Once this is done, we need to get the VBA code with us. You have to enable the developer tab for that. So please go to file options, customize ribbon, and then select the developer option. So you have to go to file options, customize ribbon, and then tick the developer option. In this, you can select the first option called visual basic and then identify the Excel file on which we are currently working, which is Excel custom ribbon, right click and insert a module. And in this module, you can paste the VBA code that I've shared with you. You can find it in the GitHub repo. And this essentially is what we are pasting here. I will also explain what these things are. So the first one is a user defined function where we are able to count the number of words in a cell because Excel doesn't have any other way of doing that. The second one is the toggle, which helps me change my reference style from A1 to R1, C1. That means rather than seeing A, B, C, D, E, we want to see one, two, three, four, five as the columns. And the go-to website is a macro that simply follows the hyperlink. It takes me to this website. You will also notice that here we have written control as I ribbon control pressed as Boolean because we are creating a macro that will be enabled via the XML ribbon. So we're not running it directly. If you have worked with macros earlier and you click on macros here, you notice that it doesn't appear in the list of macros. 
The reason is that this can only be enabled when I would click on the ribbon. And this is pressed as Boolean because it's a toggle. So it is either yes or no. And because the first one is a function, it will be text underscore count underscore words. The first one we can test out even now. So for example, if I've written, hello, how are you doing? I can simply say equal to text underscore count underscore words. And it tells me that there are five words that we have written. Let us save this. So we already have the VBA code with us. Now we will need to download a software. So I will go to ribbon X. So this is the software with which we have to work. It's called the Office Ribbon X Editor. All right. So this is available on a website called bettersolutions.com. And you can also find a lot of documentation available on the ribbon on this website. It doesn't look very interesting, but it's a fantastic website. So this is the link, everyone. I can simply go ahead to GitHub. And from here, I can download the Ribbon X editor. So I have already downloaded it on my system and it looks like this. So it's a very simple IDE. It's an environment where you can write the code, but it's very simple. It doesn't have a lot of features in it, but it has everything that you would need to work on. The first thing I would like to do is to open the Excel file, which is Excel custom ribbon. Please make sure to close the Excel file before you open it in the ribbon editor. So I will open it and you can see the file is here. Now we would like to go to insert and we will insert a sample XML, which is a custom tab. Since we want to create our own tab on Excel. And you can see here that it has created a custom XML where the tab is called Contoso. We are looking at the group clipboard and the group font. Then I've created a custom group called Contoso tools. Then we had kept three different actions here. So bold, italic, and underline. And then we also have data alignment, data number, and data formatting. Let me explain what this is. Let me save it and then open the Excel file, which is this one. And you can see that now a tab has been created called Contoso. And you can see all the options have been given here. The macros don't really work because there is no macro at the back end, but you get the idea that all these options are coming because they are the inbuilt options that we already have in Excel. But what we would like to do is to put our own macro and then connect it to the ribbon, right? So let us go back to the ribbon editor. I will open the file. Now I have already given you the code that you have to copy and paste. So this is the code, everyone. And let me increase the size. So the first line is not something you tamper with. That is the schema. Then you have the tabs here. That means that you're putting a custom tab. The ID doesn't have any relevance. You can keep anything in the ID. The label is what will be present to the user, right? So you can see here that we are calling it custom ribbon. And where do we want to insert it? After the home tab. So in the order in which Excel tabs are there between home and insert, it will appear. Then I'm creating a group and the group is called change reference. There is a button and the image is HMC. I'll tell you how to do that. The size is large. The label is go to website and the on action is the macro. So if you remember, this is the macro that we had written in the Excel file. One was macro underscore change reference to R1C1. The other was go to website. 
Now, how do we get this image here? So you can see that I already have the image with me. So this is my logo. Remember this has to be in 32 by 32 pixel. So you can use any image editor, but make sure that the resolution is 32 by 32 pixels. Okay, so we want to add our icon here. So I will insert the icon and I will select hmc.png. Now this icon has been mapped with the XML and we can put the name here without the dot ping. So just the HMC, which is the name before the extension. If you would like to check that everything has been done properly, you can also click on validate. And it tells you that the custom UI XML is well formed. That means it cannot detect any errors that are there. Let me close this. And we do want to save the changes. I will open the Excel file. And now you notice we have a custom ribbon. We have a toggle reference and it will toggle between the macros. I can also go to the website and it will, it acts like a hyperlink and it takes me to the website. And you can put any VBA code behind it. This website, Better Solutions has a lot of explanation of how there are different types of objects available in the ribbon. So what are the controls that are available? So you will have a button, you will have a drop down, you will have a group. So this is the best website for it. The next thing I would like to talk about is how would you share this with other people, other users? Let us say you have five people in a team or you have to send it to a client. Right now, everything has been mapped with my current Excel workbook, that is it. Let us say I would like it to be enabled for all the Excel workbooks that I'm working on. So I will go to file and then save as. And in this, I'm going to select the option called XLAM, which is Excel add-in. It's a little down in the list. So you'll have to scroll down and you will find XLAM, which is an Excel add-in. Once you get the Excel add-in, it will open a specific folder and I will just copy the path as well, control C. And we want to paste it Excel custom ribbon as an XLAM. So let me save it here. Once we have done that, let me close my Excel file and open a new Excel file. On the new Excel file, I will select developer. We will go to Excel add-ins. And here you will see that we have our custom ribbon available here. Click on OK. And that is it. Now this custom ribbon is available on every single Excel file on your computer. As you can see, working perfectly. So this is one of the ways of sharing it with multiple people. You can put it as an XLAM and send the XLAM to everyone. Keep in mind that the XLAM has to be pasted in this specific folder. So typically it would be the directory users, the name of the person, app data, roaming, Microsoft add-ins. It can differ from system to system, but in most systems, it would follow the same path. If you're having trouble finding that folder path on any Excel, when you try to save as, and you select XLAM, you can copy the folder path from here as well. So there you go, everyone. This is how we have managed to create our own ribbon using XML. If you want to write longer pieces of code, then you can edit it in any ID of your choice, let us say Visual Studio or Visual Studio code as well. That will make it easier for you to work with it. That would be all. I hope you have fun playing around with it.